Hi guys, it's me Ryan here. Today I'm going to take you all for a little journey I had done recently where I bought a computer for about $50 and then spent some money on it just to flip it. For Basically, I made it into a gaming computer with an Intel 2 quad processor along with 6 gigs of RAM, a GTX 1050 and upgraded 450 watt power supply. The adventure started of, of course through browsing to Carousel because where on earth can you build a brand new computer for that $50? You only can find used ones. So when I'm searching Carousel, I always tend to look for a quad core processor especially for this type of laptops so I'm going to be flipping them because when you're trying to do gaming, you probably want a quad core processor. You do not want anything lower than a quad core. Uh, especially from that generation, from like the 2000s to 2002, around there. Once I found the computer that I was about to get, I decided that I would pull the trigger and get it. I messaged the guy, I said, hey dude, can I go there to test the computer to make sure it's working? Because on the listing, it said there's no hard drive because it said they aren't as faulty. So I went over there, took a copy of Windows 10 with me, which is 32-bit, because it said it needed 2 gigs of RAM at first. I went down to his house. Whoa, look at them all, posters. Now we're here, we're gonna go up and collect. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm here to oh, test the okay. Windows 10. Oh. Show me the Windows 10. Okay. Wait, do you have a keyboard? I think the... Yeah. Wait. Where is this? Oh. Copyright. 1997 Intel Corporations. Yeah, I think I'll uh, just use the uh, access the BIOS as a bit uh, exiting. Okay. I think you'll just find it by itself. It should be able to. Yeah, yeah I can. Hello, I just see once it put yeah. into the windows. So this one is yeah. Okay, no I have the power cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you, you, okay. you, 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 you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Are you the server or not? Not really busy on <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Either of them must be to put a server at my house. Oh, okay. Yeah, just mostly uh, small PC companies. So the software is so expensive? Yeah. The soft server operating system is expensive. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah no, it's okay. I, I, I'm a fake. No, no worries. Thank you very much. No uh, problem. Later we leave it back again. Yeah, thank you, thank you. The deal was fine, I took the PC home. And then, once I got home, I dusted the computer out. Like, completely dusted it out. Alright, just start dusting, I guess. The power supply was absolutely filthy. But I suspect it did not come from that machine because it doesn't look like the same type of generation. However, after dusting out the power supply, the motherboard, the fan, the, the coolers, everything, then the power supply died. Yep, power supply is gone, I think. Oh, we gotta look ourselves for a free power supply then. Yeah, when I tried turning it on, um, I suspect that when I blew the dust out of it, something must have shorted or, or broke something or overheated, then it just died. Turn on the system, then render made the system on and off, on and off multiple times, like it couldn't withstand 500 watts. It was it rated for 500 watts, but I think it's less than that. So I knew the power supply was dead, so when I was searching online through Carousel for a GTX 1050, I asked him, asked that seller whether he had another power supply. Turns out he had a PFP 450 watt power supply, so I ended up getting that. I had no way to pick up my GPU and power supply. God, I just did in Singapore. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Two items I just bought. GTX 1050 and a Hexa 450 power supply. 
for that computer. Yay, pre-built. And my uh, my work area is a mess because I've been trying to diagnose this computer the whole day. So I have to install this too and make sure everything works. So once I did that, web got home, installed every single thing, Windows 10, uh, then benchmarked it with basically CSGO. I had my friend come over, so he just helped me install everything. Just to, so he wanted to see that experience, you know, like $50 computer and paid. I mean, after installing everything, we tested it, we played around a CSGO, it hovered around 90 to 60 FPS. It was quite a uh, capable gaming machine, so I listed it up on Carousel. Within about like 4 hours or so, I got a deal for 350 so I'm gonna show you guys the deal right now. So y'all will be thinking now since I already sold the computer, is it really worth it to buy like a really cheap ass computer and then upgrade it to make it to, to be able to game? I would say it's a bit of a risk. As you seen from my case, I was very lucky that the power supply had not completely filled and then shorted out the motherboard and CPU at the same time. If that were to happen, it's not, I don't really care because of $50 but then if let's say I had the 1050 in there and it shorted out the 1050, there will be a lot of money gone down the drain because I bought a 1050 for $110. So there will be quite a lot of money that just got wasted if that power supply died. So I would recommend you guys, if you are doing an upgrade like a 1050 or something, it's always best to get another uh, aftermarket power supply from a reputable brand. You don't want to buy the power supplies that come from the case because those power supplies are really cheap. You can tell this by the weight. The weight on that thing is probably less than a kg. The weight I put, the weight of the power supply I put in that, in that system is well over like 1.5 kg. It's quite uh, substantial weight difference. So I'll say yeah, it is, it is a bit of a gamble. You're, you could get really good deals or you could also get a really bad deal where after you buy you dust out everything you find out there's leaking capacitors or something but that's also up to you to check when you go and buy the computer because you gotta make sure everything is final deal because normally this $50 computers there's no return at all because people just want to get rid of it and that's it. So just be careful, just try to lowball the person for an old computer they really don't mind as long as they as long as you know what you're doing, you can get a good deal. But then just take note of that. If any part fails, it's on you. They don't really have a, a warranty or anything like that. So if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this journey I went on to, please leave a like and subscribe and share a comment down below. Yes, I might be doing another one of these builds. I guess it's again taking the risk, but sure, why not? It's, that it's all the game of building a PC, you know? Because building PCs are really fun, it's my hobby, so I guess if I could do that, uh, why not? I'll make a bit of a quick buck about it. So yeah, see you guys on the next video. Peace out.